Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this uh, this bit here. All right, so it was an interesting last little portion that we did. Um, Kieran, uh, you went and um, did your uh, dive into the ocean to grab mm -hmm. that ring. I'm actually not even going to make you roll for it or anything because you do have a swim speed. You can hold your breath for an extended period of time. You're, you're a ship mm -hmm. captain, and I know that's something that you're like, oh, but I have an advantage on those rolls. We don't even need to worry about it. It literally just went off. You dove immediately <laughs> afterwards. You're half those elf. are the only things I have advantage on. I've never used my advantage rolls ever. That's okay, because you're going to have be forced to now that you have a boat. Um, so you actually have a... Uh, uh, you dive in there. You have your low light vision. You find it relatively quickly. You're right off. You're right at the shore, too. So it's not like the water. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a pretty steep drop-off. You saw the size of the ship and how close it was to the shore. So it's a pretty steep drop-off. But it's not like you're out in the middle of the ocean, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, right. you find it relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and you get it up to you, you get it and you come back up. And when you finally get out of the water, do you wait till you get back up to the ship or on the shore? Or as soon as you get out, do you look to inspect it? Like as soon as you like break, break the wave? Probably as soon like I would like, not like in depth, but look at it. Okay. To see so, what it is I'm holding. You see, it's actually Dane's mother's old wedding band. That's interesting because I have his mother's bracelet, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because he gave that to you ages ago. And yeah. this is Dane's mother's wedding bands. So you just oh. do, you do a quick look, but you don't think anything about it. You, know, you think, obviously, about it, but you're just going to wait until you go back to shore to investigate it further. Mm -hmm. So you get back to shore, and do you, like, levitate yourself up to the ship? Or do you, like, swim over to the shore and actually just, like, get out of the water at the shoreline? Uh, I probably got the shoreline. Okay. Oh, you're gonna have like Luca and Stalbor greeting you, like, that was awesome, like, you did it. Type of... I'm like sopping wet, and then you hug. Yeah, you get a hug. Aww. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jokiro actually, like, 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 jump and, like, hug both of them. Yeah. Aww. Like, just wet. Like, ah. That's funny. They just saw another wet woman go by, but she was, like, Piss. Yeah. No. <laughs> Actually, let's go back a second. Did either of you say anything as she walks by, like a wet bulldog? She's getting, she's getting like the look. I think. From just, the I just wave. I'm just <laughs> like, uh, stop, yeah, stop, stop her waves, and she's just getting like a look, like a. Hmm. Okay. Do you still have your 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 uh, rapier or whatever your weapon is in your hand, Karen? <laughs> she I threw it. At I you. Would toss it like. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> right comes up, sheathing the rapier, and he hands it to you, and he says, "Well fought." Thank you. I, I told you. Yes. I it's, didn't it's, think I would use it. It's not about how you use your weapon. It's about taking advantage of them not using their weapon well. Because obviously she did not use her weapon appropriately with the whole smacking <laughs> shit. But, <laughs> but it, it fits real well. Like he just says, like, look, you, you, you did good, kid, basically. Thank you. Oh, that's great. That's <laughs> awesome. Kind of for you. That's good. Uh, Maybe, though, you should stick to the storm you guys spells. keep trying oh, that's it <laughs> you i'm not bad it. with it like <laughs> oh yeah i'm not bad with okay. my sword either stop or we i thought we agreed you wouldn't take that thing out unless you had to yeah <laughs> uh, dude i watch your uh i watch your um your sim stream i know you're bad with your sword dude Oh, that's verified oh blow <laughs> wow <laughs> verified dude <laughs> sorry <laughs> Well, he did get pregnant. But oh, thank God. you. So you I, did, yeah. I actually do appreciate it. Thank you for your help. What's that? I forgot to reorganize my books recently. Sorry. Okay, so um, while kind of like st sitting on the shoreline, do you guys stay on the shore? Do you head back to where you were staying? Do you go onto the ship? Nobody else is on the ship. It's completely empty. No, ship is broken. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay here. I'm break that news to my ankle. <laughs> yep. Yep. You're going to have to do that. So do you guys like stay here, like right on the, the, the first part of the docks or like maybe go and sit on this part of the dock that's over the water and dangle your legs into the water? Like, what do you do? I think just on the shoreline. I think we just stay where we were. Yeah, like yeah. we can chill out here and I'll say, hey, so we we'll Walk like five feet that. away from the water so her feet aren't uh, in the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want to join me on these errands, that would be nice. You don't have to, of course. What are these errands? I'd be paid. I don't know. What are we talking? A couple of days? Extinct. Well, honestly, well, Kieran, with we'll your relationship. So, probably not days. Ah. Hmm? I'm going to say, well, Kieran, with your relationship with N, I feel it's best I keep you closer for now. Show not to that. I am... 
I've said this before, but I am sorry about your brother. And I am working hard to try to find him. For what that's worth. I, I do understand that. I do. It's just something that'll take time. But now we have a fancy ship. I wonder Perhaps if it will mentor. aid in finding him. Don't really the mentor, like, figurehead. Wait, what did you say? I said, I wonder if we can get, like, the mentor replaced. I don't really like the figurehead. <laughs> I could always so just, like, callous. chop it off. <laughs> it's a fine piece of statue work. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't like Luca it. Actually, Luca if you don't want it on the Luca ship, I'll have that, it in right? my bunk. Yeah, Luca like would Chase. actually <laughs> your really bunk, like it. It will fit in your bunk. Do you know how small your bunk is going to be? Wow. Not like that. Okay, it's a, a ship is a small vessel. Like, it, like the, the rooms are small. So but like, he's specifically getting the small bunk, huh? No, he's specifically getting the small bunk. It's going to be a smaller area. Like I'm just saying we have to draw straws. <laughs> no. We have to draw straws for who gets what bunk. That's uh, not how that's going to work. <laughs> I don't wish to, uh, you know. But I think I should get the biggest bunk. I think it's only polite. <laughs> <laughs> We My like character is six and a half feet tall. Yeah, yeah we still was... huh. <laughs> I can happen. I can whatever I want. Well, I didn't expect for you to... I might just sleep down in the, you know, the, the cargo, cargo bay. Cargo hold? Yeah. yeah. We do want a ship. Like, all three of you. <laughs> so... Silence. <laughs> My first ship ride. <laughs> <laughs> My first ship, you know, being on the ship and helping out. Mostly, I just hide under your deck, try to vomit. What's that? What's that book? Nothing. So as you guys are uh, are done, kind of um, uh, looking at here, <laughs> as you guys are done uh, uh, having a conversation with other, Kieran's attention would go back to the ring that's in the palm of her hand, and oh, she would yeah. look at it to regard it further. So when you're actually looking at it, do it, does anybody inquire as to what it is? Or... Oh yeah, I I, yeah. I like almost as immediately, okay. and then just just. Got it was Dane's care. mother's wedding band, which is funny because I have Dane's mother's bracelet, which I hold when up did, my hand. When did he give you that bracelet? It was among his belongings. Mm. Was that ring something it that... Remember, it was about? um the House Madani. Korvar. She said it oh, was... Oh yeah, that was a bracelet he wore all the time. Yes, and he died with leaving an impact on it in some yeah. way. Um, okay. and, and Kieran's actually never taken this off, by the way. Hmm. It stayed on her this whole time. Do you, uh, do you but... let Stalbor take the ring briefly? Yeah. Shall can I, I do on? an Arcana check on that real quick? Uh, absolutely you can, but before you do so, uh, one of the first things that you see is there's an inscription onto the ring. So Kieran's like mm -hmm. looking at it, but she hasn't had a chance to investigate it yet. You're immediately starting to investigate it. There's an inscription on the ring. Roll me an investigation check really quickly because as soon as you see it, obviously you're gonna look at it further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, wow. Shit. Dem's words. I, I, I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I, I, I know that that was garbage. <laughs> um, <laughs> but really quickly, I thought you had advantage on things like that or is it just corpses? Corp, corp, corpses. Well, I have no fucking idea because I don't know where the writings for that is. Okay. Oh, you could fix it on... So I don't know where my advantages are. So I don't remember. It's it's Arcana Jax to do with necromancy. Oh. Uh, medicine to do with corpses. Yep. And, and in, there was an investigation. But I think it's but investigating corpses as well. I think that's a, that's a whole bit. It was but... it was a uh, murder scenes. Yeah. Oh, crime scenes. That's right. Good. Okay. Cool. So yeah, so no, there on. wouldn't be enough. So the, the, you both can easily see the uh, the result of the investigation role. It says that on the inside of the ring there is an inscription that says to ionize my insulator. I'll repeat that. There's an inscription on the inside of the ring that says to ionize my insulator. What does that mean? Um, uh, he has an, he has yeah. advantage investigation on deceased. Yeah, exactly. Dead people. Yeah, but yeah. Not, not like things. Uh, so, to, uh, uh, Aaron, uh, in... I, I get it. Kieran doesn't get it. She says that out loud. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. Because, mm -hmm. like, when you're dealing with, like, electricity, got it. not ionizing always works. Conductor, I got yeah. it. Okay. But, um, so anyways, uh, who rolled Arcana? Stalbor. Who rolled Me, Arcana? I'm holding the boy. Okay. So you're looking at this thing, and immediately you could tell that, like, there is magic coming off of it, but you'd have to identify it. 
Like you oh, could feel you, the power you do that. I don't. Himself. I don't have identify because I don't, I never consider that as a thing that's necessary. It's it's a spell. I always think it's bullshit that identifies uh, things. I'm, I'm never gonna get it unless we kill someone who has it in their spell book. Then I guess that's how you're gonna have to. Nineteen ninety nine. I had it back, and I'm like, Dane was a spellcaster. Just because of being focus. Um. So yeah, he you... wasn't a spellcaster. He cast. I've told you. Cast. No, he didn't. He had used a magical item. I told you this before. Well, maybe perhaps this is you have another magical item. Yeah. I mean, it is. Perhaps his mother was a spellcaster. Yeah. Then perhaps we should take it to be identified. This is obviously of importance. She'll nod to that. Perhaps um, my uncle can arrange something. Although, she'll look back at the ship. It's... We've called on your Needs uncle repairs. for a lot. Uh... Does it need, like, like repair? Can we can we sail this ship without the repairs? The mast wasn't damaged, so it's uh, it's just a... It's unsailable? It, it, I it, mean... You can sail the ship without repairs, yes. Yes, I could. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm just saying. We've done, he's a lot for we us. Cost huh? him, we cost him how much money? He said priceless. Yeah, priceless was the word he used. <laughs> yeah. And that seems well, like a man who knows what priceless means. Not one of those guys who throws the word around. We'll, we'll see how it goes. For now, let's celebrate. Okay, there you go. So you guys I'll all get naked that. and go skinny dipping. No, of course. Um, so what is warm <laughs> freshman year so you guys oh, have God. have a, a a fun time you guys celebrate the fact that you finally did this da -da 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 -da. and uh we're just gonna kind of fast forward a little bit because your uncle does actually want to have a conversation with you he's been telling you since you first got here oh hey after you finish like your other stuff we do need to talk before you head out of here pleasure seeing you that all happened forever ago it's true mm -hmm. so let's flash forward to the future um uh, a couple days go by. He's finally finished settling things out around the, the place. They were able to arrange um, for some gladiatorial matches. More or less, uh, what happened was the, a couple of the ships that he controls uh, on the seas around here, they went out and collected a whole bunch of pirates that were doing all sorts of bad things. And they grabbed these pirates. And just like all pirates, they, they claim they're not pirates. They, they lie. They're pirates. What do you expect? And they, he had them dragged in chains to the arena. And he made sure, like, a huge show was put on. where like it, And it was one of those things where the tickets were, were sold at, like, half price. Cause the other half of the tickets were uh, covered by him. And, and they, he did this, like, event where there was, like, a... So they did this, like, huge thing at the arena just to try to, like, drum up more sales to make up for the, the cost of everything uh, that was lost from uh, uh, what's his face there. Uh, it's more reputation was their loss of cost. It was trying to like rebuild the rep for those people. And a bunch of the gladiators that were like doing mediocre before, they allowed them mm -hmm. to like go out there and build some fame, killing these easy targets to like build up their mm -hmm. own reputations or whatever. To again, just try to like make up for some of the lost reputation because Bloodhorn had died. But moving on. So, um, you guys are, uh, time passes and he eventually goes to, to meet with you, Karen. Mm -hmm. And when you finally come back in, uh, when you finally meet with him, he actually, it's one of those, like, he intends to go for a nice long walk along the, the shore side with you. You've had many conversations mm -hmm. like this before. It's usually when yeah. he needs to talk about things that are important and he wants to make sure that even the most trustworthy ears aren't around because then you have to sever them. You know what I mean? So it's like he's going for a walk with you where right. it's mm -hmm. safe. Uh, and it's beautiful out. It's nice. And the weather here is great. So you guys are going for a walk along uh, the beach side. And, um, you know, he kind of like asks you about like the, the ordeal and you defeated the cousin and da 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 And like that whole thing happens and you kind of enjoy the conversation. Mm -hmm. He's not happy that you won. He's happy for you that you've proved yourself in, in some manner, right? Mm -hmm. But that conversation does inevitably lead to you bringing up the shape of the ship. Right. So all the small talk out of the way, how do you bring that up first before we do everything else? Uh, just be, well, you know, she didn't stop attacking me after I do first blood and I may have gotten a little mad and I may have called down some thunder. Mm hmm. And the floorboards might need some mending mm -hmm. and the railing. 
Um, but the mass is fine. And the lines are all fine. And the sails are all fine. So... I could easily have one of the mage rites here in Stormreach mm -hmm. uh, repair it with their magic, but you and I both know the quality of repair that that would be would be glaring for a brand new ship. Certainly not something that we would want to be showing off, right? Uh-huh. Right. It's not going to delay the maiden voyage. That's fine. Mm -hmm. It'll still... The repairs need to be done correctly, which means, I mean... Your actions, your consequences. When you finally get back to Sharn, you will have to reach out to a member of House Caneth and see if you can uh, convince them to fix the ship the correct way. As though it was re uh, built with the intention, sorry, built with the craftsmanship of House Lirandar. I don't like relying on House Caneth, but sure. I can do that. Who trusts anything that comes from the mouth of a Gorgon? And she'll kind of like shake her head to that. Hmm. In agreement. All right. So uh, so he's, uh, you guys kind of like walk for a little bit uh, of time. It's like silence as you guys kind of like regarding like the beautiful of whatever. And then he's like, now you're like a good distance away. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now you're like a good distance from the house. He's like, Kieran, you, you came... To Stormreach with a task. I believe you accomplished it. Yes. Um, I don't know the full ramifications of it yet, but I will. And I'll kind of like tell him what we found out. And I'll explain to him the ring and the bracelet, and I don't know what it means yet, but it's another piece of the puzzle. Well, that ring, usually when a man has his, his mother's ring, he intends to give it to somebody. Right. I mean, I guess it would make sense for why she hates me so much. I kind of understand. I, I don't know why it was that she even has it. The two of you were arranged to be married from a very young age, and while she has always sought his affection, his heart was never there. I don't think that ring was ever intended for her. She'll nod to that and kind of... I guess, store that in the back of her mind. <clears throat> Anything else about it? Um, the elf we tried was magical, but we can't identify it yet. Perhaps when I go to Canada, I can get them to do it, but this seems... House Madani mm. is, is, is about. You can always... Uh, ask House Madani, or wait till you get back to Sharn and consult some of the libraries and Lirandar's uh, uh, estates there, and see if you could find out things the old-fashioned way. She'll, she'll like like shake her head at the idea of like more reading and like more research. Madani, it is then. Madani, it is. Um, again, they are here in this city, so you can. Well, I would tell you not to go and visit them, but you already have been about the city haven't you oh, of course well i'm glad that you came here with this task and you succeeded with information that you had procured from your friends there from mm. dane your late uh yeah. betrothed and there were other bits of information that he had offered to you that seemed to be correct yeah as far as we know nothing has really turned up yet um I guess there was, in fact, a changeling at Greywall Castle, so that was related. Hmm. Kieran, these are a list of things that perhaps... Dane's life was taken for these... these things. Yeah, but Dane relied on magic items and a handful of tricks... I mean, I expect that you can handle yourself and s your situations far better than Dane could. Uh, he was not a bad kid, but he was not particularly good at that stuff either. Uh, perhaps this list of clues should just be laid to rest, lost at sea. If I can find out what happened to him, sure. 
I don't care about the rest of it. I just don't know which one led to his death. Does it matter? Yeah, it matters. The person who killed him out there still draws breath, and that's a huge fucking problem. But even if you can discover who it was, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to murder them. What if they're too well connected and murdering them causes your own demise? Oh, well, maybe I'll be a little smarter about it. Or maybe you start mourning and stop denying. <sighs> I'm not in denial. The member of House Madani before confirmed that he was dead. I just want... Vengeance? Yes. Okay, then you're on anger. I understand that. <laughs> anger is where you're most comfortable. Yeah, it is. There are a lot of things to be angry about. This is a pretty big one. It's up there. Understandable. But did you not just deliver a wonderful blow and have so much to rejoice from? I did. I feel as though perhaps a little bit of time at sea and not in a cabin but at the helm breathe in the air enjoy enjoy the time there i think you can allow your mind to realign to what really matters in this world again kieran he's dead just let him lie some time at the helm does sound good You will be doing a few errands for me. Mm. The problem you're going to have is your companions. You think so? They are a chaotic bunch that don't seem to know which way is north, despite <laughs> the obvious signs. They think they are a group of heroes despite all the signs. <laughs> and it might cause complications for your tasks ahead of you. I'll stick them in a cute little bunk and they can do menial tasks amongst the ship. <laughs> I'll keep them busy. Yes, but then when you are actually doing your tasks, Things could get a little bit... Well, perhaps I will just leave that to your capable hands. You've dealt with crews before and in very interesting scenarios before, so I think you'll be able to handle it. For mm -hmm. now, though, I'm not going to be delivering any orders your way. I'll allow your maiden voyage to be one of joy. Oh. I will give it you... It does sound like fun. I'll give you a couple months' time, three months' time exact, to... Enjoy the fact that you are at the helm of a ship. Rejoice. Breathe in the air. Take the distractions. Have time with your husband. And he actually legit like snorts to that. Like, <laughs> She'll laugh at it too. Thanks. Um, <clears throat> I appreciate that. After that time is done, you will have the task set before you. So just enjoy your time. You're young. You have many years left to live. Maybe visit Aranel. Your friend is from them. Perhaps he can give you a, a tour of the islands. Not many people that are welcome there. Fair. Maybe he mm -hmm. can bring you there. <laughs> she'll, she'll like nod along. like, yeah, that would actually be really interesting. Stop. <laughs> Star Wars in the back like, <laughs> no. <laughs> be cool, man. <laughs> be cool. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you understand that while I did everything I could to clean up the uh, messes that were made here, there is a considerable amount that needs to be uh, repaired still. So um, there will be a considerable number of jobs. Just make sure your friends are familiar with that too. Other than that, Karen, I think that maybe you should you should leave the city for a while. Allow things to cool down. That's a good idea. You know, I thought I would be the one to cause trouble here. 
I admit, this is a weird role for me. Well, if it makes you feel any better, everybody else assumes it's you. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and you certainly have taken a considerable amount of blame. Mm. So sure I get that. You do realize that not only have you pissed off one of the Storm Lords, you've... He's fucking useless. Let's be... Also pissed off his betrothed. She's fucking useless, too. You can say that, but he controls one-fifth of the city. Uh -huh. <laughs> he controls one-fifth of the city. For now. For now. So stop getting in her way. I, I'm not going to get in her way any longer. I got what I wanted. She can go back to doing what she wants. Mm. You two really just need to mend whatever it was that had happened between you. You just need to find some common you know ground what? and... If she could stay sober for a conversation, I'm sure we could. It's funny, she's never drunk when she speaks to me. I bring out the best in people. And it's kind of like... He, I, I will just say... Like, <laughs> he starts thinking of her friends when she's... 